Hi, uh, welcome to our 2021 annual meeting of the Minnesota Archaeological Society. I'm Dan Wendt, I'm the current president of the society. I just wanted to spend a couple minutes at the beginning of the meeting uh, just running through the agenda for tonight and um, uh, conducting a little bit of business for the Minnesota Archaeological Society ahead of the main speaker. Next slide. The Minnesota Archaeological Society is um, a nonprofit, and we are we have membership um, uh, across Minnesota and adjoining states and provinces of Canada. Uh, members who join uh, get quarterly newsletters and hard copies of our annual journal. And you're invited to events and lectures like this and more. Um, you can stay up to date at our website and at, on our Facebook page. So um, there are lots of benefits to becoming a member and you can join um, by going to Facebook or our um, website. Next slide. There's also a link in the chat to the membership page on our website if you're not currently a member or if you need to renew your membership for this year. Okay, we are uh, currently uh, looking for people who are interested in attending monthly board meetings or serving on the MAS board. And if you have an interest in um, attending or uh, joining the board, please contact us. Uh, you can use our address at info at menarc.org. Next slide. Over the course of the last year, we've been doing some uh, thinking uh, and optimization of our Minnesota Archaeological Society mission statement. Uh, we're an organization that started in the 1930s and it's been a while since we dusted off our mission statement and the conversations that we had led us to a statement that was um, maybe more inclusive of all the stories of Minnesota and all of the storytellers in Minnesota. We certainly have an aspiration to be uh, inclusive of a broad set of Minnesota stories and Minnesota storytellers. But our new mission statement is sharing, preserving, and honoring Minnesota's richly diverse archaeological heritage through publication, education, and outreach. And then next slide. Um, one of the things that really exemplifies what the Minnesota Archaeological <laughs> Society is all about is um, being able to award every year uh, the Hill Lewis Award. The award goes to an avocational archeologist who's made outstanding contributions to Minnesota archeology. span The award recognizes individuals who've made important contributions to our knowledge of Minnesota archeology span through original research, publication, collaboration with, uh, with professional archeologists uh, public outreach, and it's especially uh, looking to acknowledge uh, educators. The award is named after two pioneering Minnesota archaeologists, avocational archaeologists, Alfred J. Hill and Theodore H. Lewis, whose efforts led to documentation of, of thousands of mounds and hundreds of archaeological sites in Minnesota during the late 19th century. The 2021 recipient of the Hill Lewis Award is Larry Furrow of Duluth, Minnesota. Steve Mulholland, or, sorry, Susan Mulholland and David Peterson are on the Zoom meeting with Larry and are going to help me uh, present the award uh, to Larry. I'm Sue Mulholland. Uh, this is Dave Peterson. And together we put together a nom nomination for our good friend and fellow archaeology, what do we call you, pioneer, uh, Larry Furrow, who among his many, many uh, achievements has some rather unique things, one of which is the uh, work he's done first with Joe Neubauer of Pine City and 
lately uh, on his own, trying to replicate experimentally archaeology, the uh, copper tools that are, are quite common in Wisconsin and adjacent areas of Minnesota. Uh, in addition to that, he's got an uh, impressive length of presentations that he's made, including for the uh, Council for Minnesota Archaeology and at the Northern Lakes Arc Society. And I don't even have a complete list of them all. Uh, he's currently president of the Northern Lakes Arc Society and co-administrator and weekly author of the internet, Old Copper Complex and Ancient Waterways America blog. And without further ado, Dave, would you present the uh, 2021 Hill Lewis Award to Larry Furrow? It'd be our very uh, honor. I've known Larry for 21 years. I don't know anybody that is so enthusiastic and interested in Northeastern Minnesota history and archeology. span He's a premier expert in the Reservoir Lake area, just north of Duluth. And the thing about Larry is he unselfishly shares his knowledge with whoever asks. Um, so he's just a excellent uh, avocational archeologist. Larry, we'd like to present you with the award. Congratulations. Uh, with us is Randy Beebe and Robin Mueller Hammer, who is one of the, she's the co-author of the blog that was mentioned. We'd like Larry to say a few words. I'm humbled knowing uh, most of the people that have got this award over the years, this humbles me. Mentioning Robin, she has been, uh, she always sees a void and she fills it. And she started this uh, our little, little complex uh, Facebook site years ago. And I happened to stumble on it when I was Googling her on copper. And uh, I've been lucky enough to get in there with her. And she, uh, she's, uh, very good at it. So if anybody wants needs some research done, check with Robin. Check with Robin. I'd like to thank all the people, especially on our, our Facebook site that, that are so much help. Mark Hill, uh, professor from Ball State University. Bill Ross from Thunder Bay. Uh, Scott Hamilton, Thunder Bay, Lakehead University. Uh, I've got Dan Went in here too, and you know what? He's the master of them all. David Papagnini, when it comes to copper, now he's in Hawaii. And Tim Scarlett, uh, Michigan Tech University uh, professor. These People in the discipline come into the site all the time, or our Facebook site, and they're, they're so helpful and keep it straight too. So, uh, one more, and I is Sigrid Arnault. I always think of her as fair as fair a face and fair as a person. Always has good advice. We need we need more women. And uh, to go along with the men here in archaeology. So. Uh, thank you. I'm humbled. Thank you. Um, well, uh, Larry, you you really deserve this award, and I'm really happy uh, representing the Minnesota Archaeological Society. Uh, recognizing your work with this award. So thank you for all that you do. And with that, uh, it concludes the business portion of our meeting.